Good afternoon. For those who don't know me, uh, I'm Dr. Andrew Felak, and I'm the Interim Senior Vice President for Health Affairs and Dean of the Cincinnati University of Cincinnati College of Medicine. It's my pleasure to welcome you today as we unveil an Ohio historical marker in honor of Dr. Daniel Drake, founder of the Medical College of Ohio, which today we call the UC College of Medicine. As we like to say, the College of Medicine is where it all began for UC. And there were so many things in Cincinnati, Daniel Drake is the one who started it. The Ohio Historical Marker Program is administered by the local history services department of the Ohio History Connection. This marker is one of more than 1,750 such markers placed throughout the state since 1957 to celebrate Ohio's rich and extensive history. We are very proud that the Daniel Drake marker is the second one here at the university and both honor great men, men who were members of the College of Medicine faculty. The first historical marker was dedicated June 19, 2003, just a block down Eden Avenue from us in front of the Vaughn Center for Molecular Studies. It honors Dr. Albert Sabin, who developed the live virus polio vaccine. The idea of a marker to honor Dr. Drake first began seven years ago when one of the UC Bicentennial Working Groups was charged with identifying ways to celebrate the founding of the Medical College of Ohio and the important history of health, education, research, and clinical care at the colleges of medicine, pharmacy, nursing, and allied health sciences. One of the group's first ideas was to honor Daniel Drake with a state historical marker. From that group, I want to thank several key people who led these early efforts. Dr. Jack McDonough, Dr. Frank Woodside, and Dr. Alexander Trott. I also want to recognize two of the leaders of the UC Bicentennial, Phil Collins and Kim Dobbs. Kim, I believe, is here with us today. Kim, thank you for all you're doing to help uh, run this Bicentennial. Thank you. Several staff members of the UC Bicentennial also had a hand in making this day possible. Kelly Weissman, Christy Lee, and Kelly Grant. If you're here, please raise your hand so we can recognize you also. Yes. I also want to recognize Gino Passi of the Winkler Center for the History of the Health Professions, as well as the staff of the University's Office of Planning, Design, and Construction, and the Office of Governmental Relations. Lastly, we have a special thanks to the local History Services Department for approving this marker and recognizing the significant contribution that Daniel Drake made to the history of our College of Medicine, the city of Cincinnati, and the world of medicine and science. Thank you all for your efforts in making today a reality. Thank you all. The theme of our bicentennial is boldly bearcat. It describes the tenacity and grit displayed by those who have kept the spirit of UC alive during the past two centuries and today are propelling the university forward, boldly bending the future. Dr. Drake constantly introduced new ideas in medical education, clinical care, and science, bringing to life the next greatest innovation, just as Next Lives Here does today at UC. There is no doubt Dr. Drake was indispensable to this medical school, which in turn has become indispensable to our region. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Phil Diller. Dr. Diller serves as the Senior Associate Dean for Educational Affairs at the College of Medicine, and he chairs the board of the Winkler Center, which is part of the UC Libraries. He has also studied the life and work of Dr. Drake, and is the author of Leaving a Legacy, Lessons from the Writings of Daniel Drake, which was published last month by the University of Cincinnati Press. Dr. Diller is here to offer some insights about Daniel Drake. Phil. Thank you, Andy. And all of you who are able to join us today, thank you very much. 
You know, this is a proud moment for the Winkler Center for the History of the Health Professions. By commemorating our history, we are often reminded of our purpose and gain inspiration for the future. This marker helps us connect Daniel Drake to our modern day College of Medicine. You know, in Drake's time, the College of Medicine was located downtown. You know, it was not until 1918 that the college came to its location on Eaton Avenue, just across the way. So Daniel Drake served on faculty of medical schools in Lexington, Louisville, Philadelphia, and even a rival school here in Cincinnati. Our school was the one that was most dear to him and was the one he most wanted to see flourish. Here's what he said to students in 1849 at the opening session of the Medical College of Ohio, 30 years after that initial beginning in 1819. He said this, he came back, you know, he had been away for 10 years in Louisville, he said this, I must declare to you that I stand ready to pledge the, re the remainder of my active life and all the humble talents with which the Creator has endowed me to her, the College of Medicine, future elevation. And were I to put up the prayer of Hezekiah for length of days, it would be to devote them to her aggrandizement and for the pleasure of seeing her halls overflowing with inquiring pupils, attentively listening to ardent, learned, and eloquent professors. With this pledge, those who watch over her welfare and those who govern the hospital, which she caused to be erected, are now silently mingling theirs. And while you, I trust, are resolving that your own life, students, shall spread abroad her fame, thus will she, the College of Medicine, rise and gracefully move onward and upward until she stands in beauty and honorable rank among her distinguished sisters of the Union, the pride of her sons, and a blessing to society. I think that's why it's fitting that this marker is placed here on this campus in this place. Drake was a man of vision and a passion for medical education, and it remains for us an inspiration to continue to carry the work forward. That is what he would want us to do. He was always looking ahead. Speaking to an audience of physicians about 10 months before he died, and this was in 1852, he said these words that I think are still important for us. He said, carry for, forward the noble work which your predecessors began. Make it better than you found it, and then hand it on to posterity. I would like to think that embedded in this historical marker is Drake's spirit that continues to influence each generation of physicians who come to know his vision for our school and his rich legacy. Some of that legacy you're going to hear about in the next hour with the Cecil Stryker Lecture. Having shared these words from Daniel Drake, I'd like to introduce our next speaker. Um, help me welcome Mr. Andy Verhoff, who's the team lead of the Local History Services Department of the Ohio History Connection, to say a few remarks on behalf of the Ohio History Connection. Andy? Well, it's a pleasure to be here today. I had a trip down from Columbus. It was very uneventful, and I found the parking garage, no problem, and then I got lost in the hospital. So I'm glad I'm finally able to make it here in this wonderful, wonderful pavilion uh, to dedicate this marker to Daniel Drake. Uh, the Ohio Historical Marker Program began in 1957, so it's been around 60-some years. And uh, in that time, we have worked with communities all over the state, communities, institutions, all over the state to erect 1,750 markers. Ohio's history is our history together. And by uh, participating in the marker program, you help to share aspects of your universities, your communities, uh, history with Ohioans all over the state. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, we found with markers that they're used for all kinds of things. People come, families like to visit markers. Um, they're also used on poker runs. So I wouldn't be surprised if there are a couple of motorcycles parked out here uh, later this summer on a poker run. Although, well, they can find a place to park. You got a lovely garage over there. So anyway, we would like to uh, offer our congratulations and thanks for your participation in the Ohio Historical Markers Program. And uh, I have a accommodation to present on behalf of the Ohio Bi of the Ohio <laughs> Bicentennial Commission. That was a few years ago. Uh, the Ohio His History Connection. And uh, I would like to call up Dr. Philak and Kim Dobbs to receive that certificate.
So what I have here is number one, a certificate from the governor of the state of Ohio, and it reads uh, in the name and by the authority of the state of Ohio, Mike DeWine and John Houston, governor and lieutenant governor of Ohio, do hereby officially recognize the Daniel Drake MD historical marker. On behalf of the state of Ohio, we welcome all gathered for the placement of the marker, and historical markers reflect and honor the people, places, and events associated with our state's rich history. On this 15th day of May, 2019, Mike DeWine, Governor, and John Houston, Lieutenant Governor. And then, and then a certificate from the Ohio History Connection. The Ohio History Connection commends the University of Cincinnati Bicentennial Commission for furthering knowledge of our state's heritage by placing an Ohio historical marker on May the 15th, 2010, to tell the story of Daniel Drake, the founding and the founding of the Medical College of Ohio and its importance in history. Assigned to Burke Logan, Executive Director, and Tom Chima, President of our Board of Trustees. So again, congratulations. Well, I guess we're all done now. We can go and enjoy some cookies, unless you want to unveil the marker. Okay, right. Okay. Are you going to stop and do it? I know what it looks like already. So. Right. You know, for many of you, you're not going to be able to see the marker from where you are. So if you want to do that, I will read what's on the marker for you as it's unveiled. You ready? Andy? So this is what the marker reads. It says, Daniel Drake, MD. Daniel Drake, 1785 to 1852, was an influential figure in 19th century American medicine, gaining fame as physician, scientist, author, educator, and ardent champion for the city of Cincinnati. In 1819, Drake was the founding president of the Medical College of Ohio, which eventually became the University of Cincinnati's College of Medicine and a founder of Cincinnati College. Among Drake's contributions, he argued for raising standards of medical education by having students study at patient bedsides and work in hospitals. A history of medicine from 1921 hailed Drake's practical essays on medical education in the United States published in 1832 as one of the most important contributions ever made to the subject in this country. University of Cincinnati Bicentennial Commission and the Ohio History Connection. Thank you. Thank you, Phil and Andy. I want to again thank you for being with us today and celebrating the legacy of Dr. Drake. I encourage you to join us at 5 p.m. in the Kresge Auditorium in there. You can follow Andy. He knows his way around there. Uh, to, for the 10th Cecil Stryker Society Lecture. This uh, year's lecture is titled Daniel Drake's Connection to Sir William Osler celebrating two medical education reformers. Dr. Diller will be joined by Dr. Robert Riegel, a 1958 graduate of the UC College of Medicine and Emeritus Professor in the Department of Family and Community Medicine at Baylor College of Medicine. I hope you will join us for this fascinating presentation. First, I would like to invite you inside to the Kaplan reception area inside for some light refreshments. Thank you.